And joining us right now on the Mallsburg panel, we welcome in Brad Hirschfield, president of CLAL, thewisdomdaily.com, and author of You Don't Have to Be Wrong for Me to Be Right, and Adam Thompson. Of course, he's an attorney and also syndicated talk show host. And gentlemen, welcome to both of you. All right, so no Carly Fiorina. And, uh, you know, and, and Chris Christie failed, certainly, in his attempt because he's, uh, he's out just about also. So, uh, Adam, as we move forward here, I mean, I mean th these are really no great losses. It's not going to shake up the race really one way or another. Not really that much. I will tell you, though, how ironic is it that Chris Christie did damage to Marco Rubio at the last debate, which really made Marco Rubio fall in the New Hampshire uh, primaries that just came out down to fifth or sixth place, and now he's the one who has to drop out of the race. I thought the last debate, Christie actually did pretty well, but, you know, you have to have funding, you have to have support, and he didn't do that well in New Hampshire. So, you know, him and Carly dropping out, you'll get a few percentage points where and who they'll go to, right. who knows, but not much of a big difference. I don't know, Brett, the, Brett, I, 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 the minute Adam said uh, uh, ironic, I, talking about Christie, I started thinking of moronic, but that's just me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let, I think it may be. I thought you were going to say robotic, but okay. Robot. No, let, let, let's talk about uh, yesterday, um, uh, Clinton. Uh, tell me how it's possible, guys. Only in the Democratic Party, I guess. Hillary got shellacked, shellacked, trounced, devastated. And she's going to walk away with the same number of delegates as Sanders, uh, uh, Brad? How is that possible? Well, she's going to net out the same, and it has to with the super delegate allocation, allocation, not allegation, we are talking about Hillary here, though, and also what the distribution was coming out of Iowa. Look, I think the truth is Iowa is in the rearview mirror for both of those two candidates right now. Hillary is ahead in South Carolina by a bigger margin than even Donald Trump is, where he again looks to be between 16 and 19 points ahead of his nearest competition in South Carolina, as he was last night in New Hampshire. So I think really this is all about how we go forward, not about what happened in New Hampshire. All right, Adam, I, I want to bring up, uh, you were talking about Rubio and Christie, and um, of course uh, that Rubio did poorly, relatively speaking, yesterday, certainly uh, more poorly than he would have uh, liked to have done or maybe expected to do. And, uh, you know, uh, Fox News, a lot of uh, people, a lot of conservative bloggers have been saying that Fox News was the champion of, uh, of Marco Rubio and uh, that they miscalculated. They called them the uh, Fox News, the unofficial super PAC of uh, Marco Rubio. And uh, do you believe that uh, they wind up as a, a loser last night also, Fox News? Well, it's very interesting. When you do watch Fox News, it looks like they put a very positive spin on everything that Marco Rubio does, even those huge blunders that he had at the last debate where he repeated the same pre-prepared catchphrase four times within 20 minutes. They try to wash that under the rug and under the table is not a big deal when everybody thought it was a big deal, and it really made him look, uh, for other words, not that presidential. But the big thing is... No matter what seems to happen, Fox News keeps pushing a Rubio agenda, or so it seems. They seem to really downgrade and downplay a lot of what Trump says or does, what other candidates are doing. And whenever something happens with Rubio that's positive, they make it bigger than it is. And when something bad happens, they almost don't cover it. So you have to start wondering, are they really giving a slanted view of each different political campaign, right. depending Brad, on who they support. Brad, uh, uh, Dick Morris, uh, of course, Newsmax contributor, uh, told, uh, told uh, Newsmax uh, last night on the air here that he was shocked uh, at, at Fox News uh, and their coverage of Rubio. Yeah, I don't think it's shocking at all. I mean, I'm in a funny place here. Really. Dick Morris was fired by Fox and went back for a little bit to slam on the Clintons, but clearly no love lost there. Working for Newsmax, I think really if ever there's a moment to recuse yourself from commentary, he's got a problem. I think that Fox in general is doing a pretty good job. Obviously, I have my biases. I think Newsmax is doing a great job. But I don't think it's that big a deal. I think that right now there's a lot of anger at Rubio, which is particularly interesting when it's coming out of the Trump camp, because I think there's a very reasonable possibility, depending on how things go over the next couple of months, that you could see Donald Trump win the nomination for the Republican Party and turn to none other than Marco to be his vice president. I think, I think it's possible he turns to Marco. I also think it's more likely he picks a uh, female Hispanic, maybe governor, uh, at this point, uh, Suzanne Possible. Martinez or somebody like that. Guys, got to go. Adam and Brad, thank you very much, folks. We're taking your phone calls. You can talk to me live on the show by calling 877-NEWSMAX, 877-639-7629. Call now.